In this video, you will see the summarized worldview that we have and hold dear because of many influences in our lives. Our worldviews today is coming from a Seventh-day Adventist point of view, as we have been brought up our entire lives through the Seventh-day Adventist Church. Still today, we believe God is the creator of the entire universe, from our galaxy down to the atom which he made in six days and rested on the seventh. We believe that God had created each living being on the earth for a purpose in its own right. As it says in Jeremiah 29 verse 11, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. We also believe that with his plans, he wants us to live long, healthy lives through studying his word regularly, talking to him through prayer. Our worldviews are shaped by the ultimate goal as Jesus being the center of our lives, and being baptized is one of the steps that we take not to refresh and to start again, but to commit our lives to God and let him be in control of our lives. Following God isn't an easy task, as Satan has set obstacles and temptations in our way to stop us from following God and making Him number one in our lives, but we strive nonetheless. Furthermore, if we want to be positively treated as those that treat us positively, then we must follow the golden rule in Luke chapter 6 verse 31, which says, Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. As a result, this is one of the many beliefs that have shaped our worldview. Included in our worldview is the state of the dead, as we believe that when an individual has passed away, they are in a deep sleep to which they are waiting for Jesus to return. A Bible verse that argues this point is John chapter 11 verse 11, where it says, After he had said this, he went on to tell them, A friend Lazarus has fallen asleep, but I am going there to wake him up. Ellen White began a culture within the Seventh-day Adventist Church that is in strong force to this day. This culture was to uphold and strive for a healthy body and mind. The way that she promoted this was through some of the many books that she wrote. In her book, The Ministry of Healing, White talks a lot about her recommended habits and ways of eating food. Then, in her book, Councils on Diet and Health, White brings strong points on why the eating of a vegetarian diet is healthy. On top of these, the Bible verse of 1 Corinthians 6, 19 says, Did you not know that your body is the temple of God? While we are not vegetarians, the focus and emphasis that Ellen White and the Bible puts on the importance of being healthy has caused our worldviews to also contain the need to strive for good health. Growing up, parents had huge influences over our worldviews. They brought us up within the Seventh-day Adventist Church and taught us values and morals. They taught us to respect them, respect others, and to respect the law. Our parents helped shape our worldviews into being that of law-abiding citizens, and included in this respect is the respect for the environment, for we also care about the world God created and look to keep it in good shape. Experiences in our lives have also helped to shape our worldview. One particular experience that we both have been a part of is MOTO, which stands for Mission of Teaching Overseas. It's important to note that Jesus gave an example of a serving heart while he was here on this earth. Being a part of a moto trip has helped both of us in having service as part of our world views. The Stormco acronym of service to others really matters puts this into essence and we agree with it. To summarize our world view, we are Seventh-day Adventists that believe in one true and loving God who guides us and advises us throughout our lives. Each moment in life we aim to be closer to God and to make Him the centre of our lives to which we commit through baptism. We strive to have happy and successful lives throughout our jobs, studies, hobbies, friends, family and sport. Thanks for stopping by San Diego. Good night. Created using Powtoon.